Welcome everyone to Friday Night D&D. This is AE D&D and we are playing Tales of Barnfilm once again today. I'm Fork17 playing Sarah Snow. We have the Man Bear, our untrusted DM. Untrustworthy too. Uh, I don't like... Uh. And then we have Sonny Danger playing Sarah, uh, Drusilla Gravemore. Hey, that's with, me. With, with an, there's too many S's. <laughs> that's my own damn fault anyways uh thank you for watch stopping by and watching uh twitch which is live and then we have youtube which will be in a couple a week or two and podcast which actually is before youtube now since we switched accounts but anyways uh thank y'all for listening watching and I'll send it over the, to the man bear because I want to find out when the raid's actually going to happen. I, I really want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. So, last week on D&D, we did out a week, and then we started a the last weekend. Uh, the group, Sarah and Drusilla, Sarah following Drusilla's lead for once, went back into the sewers and investigated more into um the disappearance of the orphans um still don't know why sarah decided to humor drusilla but she did and they explored the sewers for a good chunk of the day and then sarah first well drusilla was going to go back to the inn Sarah slipped into Malice's church and uh, tried to eavesdrop and see if she could find out any more info on uh, some of these radicals she's been hearing about who are taking Malice's words to an extreme. Um, also, uh, something to point out that happened a few episodes back, Sarah has agreed to allow Malice do the search on his own and allow him to handle his business from the inside. Um, but Drusilla does not know that that conversation has happened, nor does she know that Malice is working from the inside. She has heard that he is, and she's heard that he is making progress, but she believes that if he was truly trying, he would have already figured it out, or at least that's what she said last week. So, yeah. We're going into the last day of the weekend. Um, I believe we ended out the night last week, so it should be the start of the last day of the weekend. Then we have one more week of progress before the raid hits. Um, I want to say that I told... Yeah, okay. Uh, Matt Malice, I said, yeah, he can do his own analysis, but I'm still going to be looking. Uh, no, you did not say that. He asked you if you could leave this be and allow him to handle it from the inside out because he thinks he knows what's going on. And you said, yeah, sure, Malice. I allowed him to That's take done. care of it from the inside, but I'm still going to be looking for who it is. But you did not tell him that. I did not tell him that, but I told him. That, he, that, I told him I'm ge I'm allowing him to take care of it, but I still want to find out who it is. That's completely fine, but I was clarifying that you told Malice that you would allow him to handle this from the inside. Um, that part I agree with, but the, the yeah, I, I want to say that I, I was still planning on looking. I just wasn't going to act upon anything because. <laughs> and I told you oh. still that Malice was handling or doing his own investigation which yeah you, you caught that okay it's also been two weeks since the orphan went missing which is a concerning amount of time uh, not two weeks it's been about a week and a half because you were told in the middle of the week before last weekend 
Danny, that was you could have skipped all your... your personal days and been hunting down this person. So don't act like you're. Hey, you know <laughs> the thing is, I actually thought we were doing that like a week ago, and we weren't. And I wound up just hanging out with you for a day awkwardly. It was a night. Yes. I and... thought we were doing it. I really did. If we, yes. if I knew we weren't, I would have pushed to do it. I, I'm just, just. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You also took I, a day to just work on your stone. I really did fully intend to do this right away off the bat. But okay. it was not my choice to wait this long to start this quest. Are, are, are we in the inn? Yeah. It's the morning of the last day of the weekend at the end. So yeah. I didn't listen what I did listen to what I did last time. What did I end with last time? You went into the church and tried to find the the dissidents, or try to find rumor of the dissidents who were, you know, going to the extreme with Malice's religion. And we did manage to find out that there was a regular at the bar. I paid for drinks for that regular, so he would get nice and tipsy. That's what we're we starting with. It. Yeah, no, that's right. It's not the day before. I forgot about this. That's right. You guys are... That's the whole reason why we stopped, is because you wanted yep. to wait and do this I remember right. now. I remember now. You want to have plenty of time to plan it out and make it perfect. And how are you going to kill Drusilla in cold blood? Yeah, this guy's just going to get up from the bar like be like, beer doesn't affect me and just strangle me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much yeah he's like secretly a level 20 fanatic the actual speaker for the church no oh, um that's right i had forgotten about that i did actually make plans for it i'd just forgotten about it during my recap so what it is is drusilla what the proper way to end the recap is drusilla has now paid the barkeep to um, continue feeding this guy drinks, basically. And that um, through feeding him drinks, hoping to get him drunk enough that you guys can either take him or question him. And the barkeep knows my intent is to make him loose and true, mm. not to fucking incapacitate him. So hopefully she knows he is a patron, not to give him too much or too little. There's always, gonna be, there's always going to be four or five beers waiting. <laughs> yeah. Trying to avoid some shenanigans. We walk and he's so drunk he doesn't even know what we're asking him. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it would. So, if I'm not mistaken, I'm... I'd be leaving the after inn from Mouse's church. Yeah, I'd be leaving or like headed to the inn after this interaction started, or was it still like the evening and he wasn't going to be there till later? I headed there. No, like you were heading to the inn before, like at the start of evening. So, like before he really starts drinking, but you don't know if he's there yet or not. Okay. Okay. That sounds about right. That's where we're at. So you, uh, okay, we'll start with Sarah. You're sitting kind of in the back corner, I imagine, just kind of like waiting and watching for this guy to show up. Am I with her, Sarah right now? No, you're on your own in the end. Sarah's going to be heading this way soon. I want to try and look for Sarah before this guy shows up when we start this. Do you want to leave the inn? I mean, I'm, I thought we were meeting in the end. I thought this, we were both going to be there. She's going to meet you there eventually. Okay. I'm setting the scene right now. Like... All Are right. you going to be sitting at the bar, at a table, in the corner, yeah. cuddled underneath the bartender, staring gonna, up at her weirdly? I'm going to be in the end. I'm just, I don't know. I wasn't trying to make this awkward. I just wanted to make sure we were able to, like, pregame this, you know? 
discuss, you know, what we were going to actually ask. Oh, I didn't want to wing it. So you're sitting in the back corner? Yeah. Okay. So as you sit there... Sorry. Sorry. I, I'm sorry, anybody who had to see that. Um, God, my brain. Okay, so as you're sitting there, you're uh, kind of watching people, and you're watching the door, hoping for Sarah to come in, getting a little nervous, because you're like, oh, we gotta plan this out. What if she's not here before he is? Oh, no, oh, no. And you see a bunch of people come in. Um, there's one guy who comes in, not what you're looking for, because you're looking for a guy in full armor. But everybody seems to kind of look at him funny, and he goes and sits at the bar and starts drinking. And there's a couple more people who come in. I want to say at this point, Sarah, you come in. Okay. Um, Are you going to specifically look for Drusilla, or just kind of like continue like normal? Uh, I'm just gonna continue in like normal. Huh? Do you, boo boo? Do I notice Sarah come in? Yeah, you're watching the door, so you see Sarah when she comes in. Do wait, do I know who he's uh she's looking for? Well, you know about the man in armor who goes to the bar all the time. Oh yeah, he says yes because we were together at that time. Um, I wish to uh, I want to just like casually go up to the bar and get like uh, I want to scan the crowd see what your seal is if she's sticking out like a sore thumb and then I want to like at the bar to see if uh um to get like a second vantage point. You said that last part so fast I barely caught it. Uh like I wanna like go set the bar to get a second vantage point. Okay. Um, so yes, Drusilla, you do see Sarah walk in, and you see her go to the bar. Uh, um, Sarah, as you're sitting at the bar, the bartender comes up to you and gives you your usual drink, since she knows you by now. God damn it. Anyway, um, gives you your drink. Uh, roll perception. Me? Or both of us? Sarah. Sarah. A nine. Okay, so <laughs> you don't really notice at first because you're kind of like looking around. And then um, because you didn't notice, the bartender gets a little bit more obvious and she goes, that's him. Uh, it's kind of like a stage whisper that, you know, Anybody paying attention in the bar will hear, and you kind of see a bunch of people kind of shift, um, including this guy who's sitting at the end of the bar by himself, drinking. He kind of looks at you funny. But, uh, goes back to his drink. So the bartender pointed out the person we're looking for. Well, she didn't point at anybody. You missed the the gentle hand motions, but she told you that's him and like well, that's what I said. So like you gotta you didn't actually see who she was referring to. Okay. But you do know that apparently your guy is here in the bar somewhere. I uh I tell the bartender. Yeah, can you let your silhouette know? And she kind of nods. 
and uh, goes off to give Drusilla a drink. Uh, you see everybody drinking um, at this point in time. Another guy walks in, but this guy is in full plate mail with the crest of the church and uh, mace hanging off his belt. And he goes and sits next to the other guy who sitting by himself. Oh, boy. that's That's got to be him, I think, to myself. Okay, I, I'm getting ready to get up in a motion to Sarah, like, I, like, look at her across the bar, like, there's our guy. I start making my way to as you're, him. As you're starting to get up, the bartender comes up to you, and she puts a drink in front of you, and kind of motions for you to sit down. Uh, and, she kind of, and she whispers to you, and she goes, I don't like it. It's not what you think it is. What do you mean? <laughs> and she goes, the, the, the guy you're looking for, he's he's the one without armor. I've, I've, I've never seen him without his armor, but that's him. That's the one who comes in every night. Oh, did the other guy come here too? No, this is the first. We, he's he's a pure, a purist. He, he's never here. He never drinks. He doesn't taint his body with anything. What's he doing here? I don't know. Uh, Are you doing anything at this point, Sarah? You can't hear the conversation between Drusilla and the bartender. No, I'm uh, I'm just casually still like cruising the crowd. She told me, she, you know, he's here, but like, I'm not just gonna start going up to people in the bar. And if Drusilla knows and might have a beat on who it is, then I'm gonna just wait. Because th this talking to him is like Drusilla is. I'm letting Drusilla take the lead on this, essentially, is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, uh, is the bartender just like, is the other guy drinking yet, though? The other guy doesn't drink. Oh, the the, the guy you're looking for? Yeah, he's been, he started drinking as soon as he got here. I told you that. Okay, well, I just look at Sarah and I look at the guys at the bar. I'm just like, let's wash them for a little while. See. So. We can get closer to hear what they're saying. I try to mouth at her. <laughs> as you're talking to the bartender, and as Sarah is, you know, trying to be super casual, the two start arguing. The man in armor starts shouting at this guy. And the guy is kind of like, he looks, this is hard to explain. He's prideful, but he knows that he's done wrong. So he's, he's trying he's he's is that is that the word indignant? indignant? I guess it sounds right. <laughs> well, I don't know. What I'm trying to explain is like you can see that even though he's being screamed at, he's still got a straight back and a straight face, but his eyes are kind of downcast, like staring at the mug of ale in front of him. Like, all he wants to do is just drink everything away right now, but he's too prideful to allow himself to back down as the other guy is yelling at him. And you guys, Sarah, you especially since you're at the bar, you can kind of hear some of the words like, you fool, what have you done? You, you, you can't have, you're going to feel the wrath, stuff like that. Not full, complete sentences, but you can clearly tell that something is about to to go down. I, if this was in set at this time, I would grab my popcorn and just watch. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm, kind of, keep like I'm looking around, you know, just being ca like, being casual, like as uh, as I plan on, and I'm just gonna like pan over them more often, just to try to like pick up on more what they're saying and just to follow it closer. I'm shifting seats, trying not to stand out. I get closer so I can actually hear what's happening. So I don't, I don't know if I can hear what they're saying to each other. You're not quite as clearly as Sarah, but they are shouting. They're like the guy in metal, the guy in armor, is shouting loud enough that pretty much every in the bar, everyone in the bar can hear at least some of the words he's saying, if not get the full picture. Oh, okay. So I, I understand he's being shamed for heresy or something something you don't know what but he is being clearly the um the guy still in armor is chastising him 
I might walk up. I might walk. I think I'm going to walk up. I start walking up. Okay. Are you sure? Uh, as, what are you doing? <laughs> as, this, 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 this call. as you're walking up, you start to hear more and more of how this guy is basically threatening the punishment of God on on the bad guy and how how his drinking and his foolhardiness and his his pride and ego ego are going to cause so much trouble for malice in the church and how he's de he's making a fool of himself making a fool of himself and ruining the church's reputation at the same time and nobody in the church will stand for it okay uh, I when I get to the table, I just I look at the guy in the armor like, you know, what business is a god's? What a man chooses to do in his leisure. He looks at you, and upon recognizing you, uh, immediate disgust plasters onto his face, and he goes, "You vile woman! You who claim to be a progenitor of evil! You'd fit right in with this man. He does nothing but evil deeds." Oh, enlighten me. I know very little of what he does. This is not your business, woman. This is the business of the church, and it'll be handled by the church. And your God, wish... too? Hmm? And your God, too, I interject? Uh, my God is a God of justice, and justice will happen. How so? Will he be struck down on the street? Will he come down and pluck him up with his divine hand on the spot? He looks at you and he goes, why do you defend this villain? Do you even know? Uh, you you can't have known. If you knew, then you would not be defending him. You would you would be on our side, even though you are a mistress of evil. And it pains me to say this. Uh, I, I try to persuade. Like, is the guy not saying anything? He's just looking down at his drink. Well, he's got the same basic attitude. Like he's he's prideful and straight backed, but at the same point, his eyes keep glancing. He's like glancing between you two, and then lingering on his drink, and then glancing at you two again, and then back down to his drink. I just, I just say to the guy, like, let's talk outside. If you're so sure, I'd be on board with it. You're taking, uh, bringing, with what you got. He looks at you and he goes, no. I will be taking this man, and he will be receiving the judgment of his sins in our parish, where we will handle it. If you wish to interfere, then you shall receive the judgment of my wrath. This has nothing to do with my church or my God. I will strictly, I will simply strike the evil from the world. The evil that you claim to worship. You people do like to make up your own rules. Last I checked, this was a city of man governed by man's law. Not one I'm a fan of, but it does take precedence over your rules. This man is a traitor of our church, was once a knight as I am, and has sworn oaths to malice and to our God that he has broken. This will be handled in the church. And he put, as he says those last words, he puts his hands on his mace, and then he looks at you and he goes, do you really wish to get in my way? I do. Roll reflex. Uh, 21. Nice roll. Okay, so, uh, you decided to fight the knight. Um, he didn't fight me. 
<laughs> no, he gave you several options to not fight him. You decided to fight the knight. Don't even try to brush this off. You decided uh, I, to fight I disagree the with that. I, I disagree with that. She just said but, she was going to stand there. It, he's the one initiating the fight. No, he said three times that I'm taking this man to the church and then asked if she was going to try to get in his way. On the third time, he put his hand on his mace and asked, do you really want to get in my way? And Drusilla answered, yes. That is getting, starting the fight. She is stopping him from doing what he wanted to do. So she is initiating the fight. From my perspective as Cersei at the bar, if he hits her first, he's initiating the fight. Well, that's fine. But as far as anybody in the world listening to our podcast or viewing our YouTube, <laughs> I am not an evil DM who is just saying... You're fucked. My my reasoning. Drusilla did this to herself. My reasoning is she can tell him that she's staying in his way. He could walk away and deal with it later. But if he decides to fight, he's initiating the fight. Because she's guys, stopping him from doing it right now. You guys don't know what he has to do. I, I I'm I'm just you saying guys, I'm just saying Drusilla that's is that's what it looks choosing, like. Drusilla is choosing to stop him. Drusilla has chosen to get in his way. So as I am stating, for the clearance of anybody listening, Donnie Danger has chosen to start this fight after several warnings that there would be a fight if he continued his path. That's all I'm saying. I'd, I'd, agree, if you ag I'd agree if you agree that they both initiate or decide to fight. But if you... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, the way you said clear. it, it sounded like the entire fight was because of Donnie Danger. I'm like, oh, no, that's, no, that's no, wrong. No. That is Drusilla completed. has a reputation with these people, and all of Malice's men, except for Malice, want to kill Drusilla because she walks around claiming she's evil. That, and the only that's, reason that's they fine. don't like I is said, because of Malice. The way I you think what Dan's trying to say is we, he's the one who escalated all the way to the fight. The, the way you said it initially, it sounded like you were putting all blame of this fight starting directly on Drusilla. And I'm like, um, there's plenty of blame to go around here. Let's let's cool it a little bit. True. True. Well, Malice, Drusilla still started it. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's my opinion. Drusilla started it. Anyway, so, Drusilla, you actually rolled pretty well. And uh, you managed to avoid <clears throat> the backhand that came your way. Luckily, he didn't actually swing his base at you. He was trying to bat you aside. Mm -hmm. uh... And upon avoiding the strike... Roll initiative, which would be agility. Also, Drusilla's not at the end. She's in the middle of the street right now. That's because yeah. Donnie Danger never moves his token unless he's told to. Uh, wait, wait, where's where's the uh, where's the in the bar map? I don't have an in the bar. Oh, I do have an in the bar map. At least I thought I did. Is initiative intelligence? I mean, on um, uh, agility. agility. Yes. All right. Nine. Starting enough strong. <laughs> Starting off how I usually do. Sarah, if you want to get involved in the fight, I'm going to have you roll initiative as well, so you can be part of the tornado. No. If you do not wish to be involved, yes, if you do not wish to be involved in the fight, then, uh, because turn orders are every six seconds. So at this point, the fight has already started, so I'm not going to let you sneak in a freebie. If you want to be involved, you need to roll for initiative. I, I mean, otherwise, I would, I'm, yeah, I just, I would say, like, hey, I want to jump in this next round. But, I mean, I'll, I'll roll now. So that's fine. I just, uh, I think that's a plus four, so 17. I will get everything up. I'm, Bam. It's only a plus three. Bam. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, plus three. Bam. Yeah, because 16, 17 is plus three. Oh, no. I got to use my Paragon Surge right off the bat. Get that plus four. That's fair. Okay. Let's bring you guys over here. Oh, you're you're giving us a map right now, aren't you? He is. Uh, Bork reminded me that I have a 
in map i had forgotten about so we we spent like the last four or five sessions on the city map i'm like we we need to switch maps here <laughs> i love this uh, I've, I've had this built for a while i just forgot about it okay now turn order here's the turn order button there it is okay i wish you could click and drag these maps when you're not fully zoomed in all right that's good um, you can if you select the move token pan view It's it's uh, only up and down choice. though. Not if you're zoomed in enough. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like I want to be zoomed out so I can see everything. But like if I have to move it out of the way of our uh, our faces. Oh, you're talking for your screen. Gotcha, gotcha. Because I had okay, that issue so... with when you guys were in the sewer, you had it all the way on the left side, and I didn't realize it before. Like the first half of that, while you guys were talking, Donnie's face was covering everything that was going on. Because you had it all the way off to one side of the map, and I couldn't move it over. Okay, so, Sarah, you actually rolled the best initiative. Um, you can choose to physically get involved now or watch and see how things go. Choice is yours. Uh, so, to clarify, obviously, Sarah's here. This is the knight. Drusilla's in the way. And this is the drunkard that was getting yelled at. I. You cut out, man. All I said was yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, I thought your your mic cut out. Because <laughs> all I heard was I. I. It was just like one of those funny things where you you start a sense like, well, I'm going to, and then you walk away. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast animal focus on myself. Oh, three MP. Uh, it's a tiger. Uh, the, the, the animal focus of the tiger, which is plus two to agility. I can pass it. Oh, wait, I'm 90 HP. You give yourself plus two agility? That's pretty awesome. His, her, technically, animal focuses are actually really useful if she remembers to use them. Yeah, that's why, like, and there's an entire list of like twelve different animals I could do that I was constantly doing up until we switched you, to this version. You, this whole you were time we ever really you're... using three before we switched. Well, I granted, like there's a, like six of them or five, four or five of them that are very specific. Like wolf, I think, increases my uh, tracking of scents, mm. which can be very useful, but only in certain situations. It is very niche. Um, yeah, there's a couple that are really niche, but like the tiger is the one that's general, which is just plus two to dex. Um, owl is plus two to stealth, and there's a couple of other ones. I think uh, one of them was plus two to strength. That one I used a lot when I was doing sword combats. As far as you don't use it more, it it's got pretty nerfed. much like, oh. Yeah, I nerfed it. He's got to level it up to get more. Uh, it is pretty I went much from like having twelve at my twelve at my disposal that I could use as a bonus action to three MP each cost, and I only have three that I can use. Oh, I think it's cool. In all fairness, I gave you the three that you use most often. And I didn't just pick three at random. That that yeah, I, I'm not saying you didn't. I'm just saying now I have to use it sixty times. Actually, no, forty times. I have to remember to use the book because we stopped playing after we transitioned. I mean, yeah. it's kind of the same. I'm not doing anything. I'm just casting that on myself and I'm watching. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is the night's turn. He looks at Drusilla and he draws his mace. Uh, oh. He goes, This is your final warning, girl. I will smite you. Even if it goes against Malice's orders, I have other orders that need to be taken care of. That involve that man behind you. So either you move or I kill you. Uh after he backhands me, I, I look really cocky because I dodge and then he pulls for his mace. I'm just like genuinely surprised. Like, holy shit. And my eyes wide, I'm like, you are 
So full of it, you and your god. Now I activate Paragon Surge. Your turn. You can't activate Paragon Surge. Oh, okay. I thought it was my turn. I thought he was no, casting the next turn. turn. I thought no, he was he, turn he was basically giving you one more chance to disengage before he, you know, tries to crush your head in with that mace in his hand. Okay. Uh in that case, uh well this is it's not my turn. I'll just interchange with them and be like how about you take this chance to walk out or explain what it is you're going to do to him? He just looks at you and shakes his head. And then prepares to strike you. All right. A 15 and a net one. Uh... The 15 hits. Oops, wrong button. You take five damage. And then he hits himself with his nat one. I will roleplay it in just a second. Okay, so he swings at you. And you are actually, you know, I'm going to narrate for you for a little bit. If you want to change how Drusilla feels, feel free. But this is just how I see it. Drusilla feeling cocky and self-righteous because these people are claiming to be holy and persecuting people, even though she herself claims to be evil and tries to save people. So, understand. Either way. You feel cocky until the moment he draws back his hand to actually strike you. And as he's going down to strike you, he clips your shoulder and kind of like sends you into the bar. So you kind of like face plant into the bar, taking your five damage. But he overswings a bit and ends up hitting himself in like the side with his base. The momentum of it hits him. He kind of grunts a little bit and dents his armor a little bit. But other than that, he doesn't look too bad off. Your turn. I activate Paragon Surge, and uh, I imbue my weapon with a uh, ray of exhaustion. Would be two basic actions if I know your character's feet. Okay, so that activating would just be... Paragon Surge is an action of its own. All right, and that would be my turn, imbuing my weapon with ray of exhaustion. Okay. With a Paragon Surge, and I yep. just say, be careful with that mace. You might start looking like uh, some of the people you look down on if you keep denting that armor up. He just kind of grunts. Uh, at this point, he's done with banter, and he's set to basically kill you to do his duty. Uh, Sarah, you're up. Has he actually attacked yet? Oh, oh wait, he has, right? Is he he's attacked, right? Oh, well apparently I did that to myself. He's attacked her yet, right? Yeah. He's swung at her. Um I still don't think it's time to get involved yet. Um I'm I'm trying to think of how I'm doing this. But yeah, I'm gonna let let it ride for one more turn. Okay, a twenty four and a fourteen. Twenty four hits. You take six more damage. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to swing four times at him. Um, mm -hmm. Make sure you take the magic out to continue your imbuement. Yeah, the way imbue weapon is, it's one MP per turn to maintain spell. No other costs attached to that once the spell has been imbued. Until I imbue a new spell. 
So that's just one MP for this turn. I swing four times. Um, 2d20 plus four on Paragon Surge. Cool. My full bonus. Um, plus four to each of those hits. 23 will hit, but the 16 will not. Huh. Okay, well, he struck with Ray of Exhaustion at the very least, and, uh... Well, you do damage for your hit as well. Yeah, my damage is... Plus three. Okay, eight damage for my sword swing. And then is is he inflicted with Ray of Exhaustion? Or does he have to roll against that? Uh, hold on. Wait, uh, yeah, I think it's Ray. Why can I not find it on your sheet? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's affected by it. It doesn't say there's anything to roll against it. Okay. I get... Do I get two swings as a, a standard action and one swing as a bonus action? Is that how it works? You get two basic actions. Oh, two basic. And you get two swings per basic action. Okay. Can I unimbue as a free action? Yeah, you just break the concentration and swing. Okay. Can I unimbue and then swing twice again? Uh, unimbuing is just basically breaking your concentration. Okay. So you, you just swing. Okay, I'm going to swing at him again. 2d20. Plus four. Does a 17 hit? 17 does not, but the 22 does. Beefy. You some good rolls today. Yeah, for once. <laughs> I was due it. I was due. D8 plus three. Five damage. Not a bad haul. Thirteen damage and a debuff. Not bad at all. There you go. Um. So I'm messing with Pelts here. So he he hit her right this time, and she hit back. He hit me twice. Okay. Before I hit him. If that matters. Uh, I'm gonna walk up behind him. Um, okay, here's how I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna walk up and pull out my short sword. And I'm gonna set it on his armor next to his neck. And I want to say very sternly. You two are going to have to take this outside. This is a nice establishment. And I will not stand for you guys to ruin it. Full intimidation. A 13. Uh, he beat you out with a unnatural 20, so he's not intimidated by you. Uh, I wasn't trying to intimidate him. Well, he he doesn't care what you have to say, if that makes you feel a little better about the roleplay. That, 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 that's fine. I, I wasn't trying to intimidate him. Sarah. I was just telling him, telling him to get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. No, that's my turn. I'm, I'm I'm giving him a chance to either leave this establishment or I'm joining and gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm thinking here. Granted, he he's not scared. Apparently, that I'm gonna kill him, but yeah, no, him. no. I I just want to. I'm thinking how I want to. 
play it out because Drusilla's actually hit him. So she should technically have aggro. But you did just stick your blade by his neck, which would possibly draw aggro your way. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to think how I should play this out. Okay. So I also did stand still for like two actions in a row as he hit me. So maybe he's not terribly intimidated by me just yet. <laughs> trying to brush this off on Sarah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so selfish. <laughs> Either way, that doesn't matter. Okay, so what he's gonna do is uh, to roleplay this a bit. Basically, he knows Sarah's blades on his neck. So his first action is going to be to swing his blade backwards, his mace backwards, and try to hit Sarah in the ribs. And then his second action is going to be swinging the mace forward to try to clip, clip Drusilla. So the first D20 is at you, Sarah. The second D20 is for Drusilla. Okay. Yeah. A 16 towards you, Sarah, and a 22 to Drusilla. It's me. Does okay. Hit you, He's just Sarah? a straight roll, no disadvantage. Yeah, it's just a straight yeah. roll. Yeah, it's, it's really just an hit. attack roll. Are you, are you factoring in his debuff? Yes. Okay. Okay, so here's your damage, Sarah. Just because he's blindly attacking me. That's why I was wondering if he got disadvantage. Well, you're right behind him. And it's just basically a swing backwards with his mace. Um, 15 damage to Sarah. Oops. Plus 12, not the D12. And 8 damage to Drusilla. All right. So I'm going to say again in the roleplay fashion, so he swings back, clips Sarah in like her ribs, and she feels a, a nice little hearty thump right in her rib cage. And then using his strength, you hear him grunt as he pulls his mace forward and smacks Drusilla in the shoulder again. I mean, it hurts. It definitely hurts. This, it is now Drusilla's turn. Um... I imbue my weapon with um, shock and grasp. And then, as my second standard action, I swing at him twice. Neither of those hit. Uh, okay. That's my turn. Hey, you're up, Sarah. I'm I'm not gonna move my uh uh okay I'm gonna like change the way I'm standing and Damn. what I didn't do anything I think I can see you talking in the Twitch but I can't hear you yeah I actually muted myself I I have to fix my settings on that. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna change my stance. I'm not, and, uh, I'm gonna, like, I want to save my action for when he attacks, because I want to disarm him. You have a disarm ability? I'm gonna try to make one. Oh, okay. But, I mean, I so... can't try disarming him. I'm waiting for his attack to try to, like, grab the weapon, and then break him. I'm going to say this, even though it gives you an advantage and everything. Creating reactionary abilities is definitely a possibility. Without wasting your own turn, you can state you want to react a certain way, and we'll roll and see if it happens, and you can create a reaction-type ability, if that's something you want to do. Okay, well, I'm not attacking, and I want to tell him that this is his last chance to leave this in on his own terms, or leave this bar on his own terms. Um, I'll even roll for intimidation again. If you really want to. But I, I'm not going to have you 
you rolled anyway. You were okay. too slow. You didn't say no. You didn't say yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say no now. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, he's in a kind of a battle feud. He's not thinking. He's not talking. He's just smashing the targets that are keeping him from his goal, from his duty to the church. So no matter what you say, well, granted you've already said it, so I'm not gonna let you take it back. But you can notice that, like at this point, your words anyways. are not getting to him. I'm more or less covering my ass in case, like people <laughs> see me swing at this guy. It's I'm giving him a couple chances to leave before I kill him. Yeah, everybody has front row seats. I'm pretty sure they saw him start this shit. Well, everybody saw him tell Drusilla the same thing you're telling him. And Drusilla refused to get out of the way. Not against the law. It's not. But it's, no, this isn't about breaking the law. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can't you can't do that, Drusilla. Everybody saw him try to get you to leave, too. So you are still technically the instigator and the one who caused this in your own way. And using your own attitude and his anger caused this fight. Okay, he's not at fault at all. My mistake. Oh my god, I hate both of you. I'm done. I'm done arguing this point. He's he, swinging he, at you guys. He did, he did specifically mention and his anger at the very last moment to make sure he was involved in causing the fight. <laughs> I hate both of you. And he's swinging specifically at Drusilla, not because you're a dickbag, but because Sarah has not attacked him. Um, and you just attacked him again. Even though you missed, you did attack. So he's swinging specifically for Drusilla with these two. A 18 and a 17. They both hit. This guy's got good rolls. You take 24 damage. Shit. Is this standard stock or special issue? What is up with this guy? What's your... If you don't mind me asking... Well, actually, I can just click on your character. 47, okay. I mean, he's rolling... He has a single-handed mace, and he's rolling a d12, so... Stay, uh, single issue. I just say. <laughs> okay, Drusilla, you're up. Well, I swing... Spent all my uh, basic action swinging with my shock and grasp imbued. So mm -hmm. we're... Two nat twenties. Nice. And then a twenty on my second set of rolls. Well, obviously the two nat twenties hit yeah, and the twenty hits. You can double the damage of your blade, not the damage of your shocking grab. For the two nat twenties. So roll two of your sword swing damages are doubled. One isn't, and then your shocking grass damage is not doubled at all. I'll just roll each of them individually. So that would be a 14 plus 3 for my first sword swing. Uh, so 14, 15, 16, 17 damage on my first swing. Not without shock and grasp. I'll do that afterwards. I know. I know. Um, is it? Oh, okay. Um, 8 plus 3, 8. 9, 10, 11. 11 for my second swing. Mm -hmm. 13 for my third swing. How much damage does that total? Oh, you don't get double your third swing. It's an unnatural 20. Oh, right, yeah. So okay. it's just an 8. Okay. And then I'll add shock and grass damage if he's not done yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that would be 3d6. Three 3d6s. Three so I might as well just do 9d6. 3, 4, 5. Uh, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. I got it already. Alright. Okay, uh, is that your turn? How much damage did I deal in one turn? Uh, I want to know. Hey, shit, I gotta do the math again. 
17 15. plus 11 is 28 plus 8 is 32 plus 27 is 59. What Jeez. was the 27 for? Is shocking grass. Oh, okay. Holy crap, this is the most damage I've dealt in the entire time I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons ever <laughs> in one turn. Indeed, it was a good hit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's my turn. There, you're up. Um, all right, so where's the door to this establishment? Up here. All right, uh, I'm going to go from behind and just grab him and start dragging him out. Roll strength. Eighteen. Twenty-three. You lose. You do not grapple him. Oh. Why I ask one meta question? When I'm Ooh. using an imbued weapon, mm. imbued and shocking and grasp. Like you don't have the zeros? Uh, am I getting a point towards I know we talked about this plenty of times, I forgot. Am I getting a point towards imbue and shocking grasp? Or just imbue? I'm you, spitting in. You get a point towards imbue, one point, not a point per swing. For right. each turn you leave it concentrated, you get a point for shocking grass on the initial cast, not okay. after continuing the concentration. Okay. And for the long sword swing, that's per action, not per swing. That's per action, per basic action. Okay. Cool, cool. That makes sense. All right. Thank you. That's all. Is that all you're going to try to do, Sarah, or are you going to do something else? Um, muted again. Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, that won't work. Hmm. Trying to think of what I. Uh, can I? Do a check of sort to see. Um, if he's following the which god of malice he's following. He only has one god. Malice has a god and a demon ancestor who tries to influence him through his blood, but he only has one god. Okay, can I see which of those two that this guy is trying to follow? Um, I'm not gonna make you do a check. As far as this guy knows, he is following Malice's God, and the words Malice's God says through Malice. Okay, let me rephrase. Can I figure out whether or not the... Okay, yeah, so that comes down to, like, is the words that Malice is saying from his God, which... You wouldn't Deity be able. To, is, it's coming. From. I, I get what you're trying to say, but you wouldn't be able to tell unless you were there while Malice was preaching. As mm -hmm. well, that's why I try to say this guy, as far as he's concerned, as far as he knows, he is following the words of Malice's God. Um. There, there's no, there's no actual like magical influence on him. He's just following Malice's teachings. The zealot tree is in his mind. Psychological. I don't have anything that's not confrontational. I mean, we're already in a confrontation. I would just keep intimidate checking him until you succeed, really. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I would try it. Yeah, I'm he, not trying he's not faced by it from the last time when I didn't even have to roll. DM roll on that one. Oh. Um. Hmm. Do I have another action left? Yeah, you have another basic action. The attempt to grapple would be one basic action, so you have one more.
This is a long shot. But can I try to unclip his armor? I'm trying not to be specifically like. I know what you're doing, and I support you wholeheartedly, but you've never worn plate mail, and I don't know of you being anything of an armor smith, so I'm going to say you have no clue how to undo his armor. Can plate I roll mail for is it? super complicated. Sure. <laughs> DM wise, I'd make like two grapple checks. If I were a DM, that's that's all I would do. Two grapple checks. D twenty plus what? I'm gonna say agility. To see if you're even deft enough to Yeah, no, you don't succeed. Okay. With an eleven. You kinda like you're trying to get this to stop and as you're trying to grapple him and pull him. You're at the same time, you're trying to, like, undo his leather straps that you can feel, but you're not getting them right, and you're, the armor is getting in the way of you finding the weak joints to pull it off, and you, he just kind of, like, shrugs you off at the end of it. Does, does that work for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to think of... My 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 end goal. I'm trying to think of how I still achieve my end goal. Go ahead. I'm done. Can't hear you again. I was saying. Yeah, I said yeah yeah. I'm I'm not. I'm trying to think of how to reach the end goal that I was thinking. Yeah, no. Of. I don't oh, get, um, so I completely it, understand. I, I'm done with going. my turn. Okay. This guy's up. Okay. At this point. Bam. Bam? Bam. I don't like the sound of that. Bam. I didn't sign up for any bam. Six, seven, oh, eight, shit. <laughs> nine, ten, eleven. Malice sprints into the end. Uh, he can't get too far before, you know, his movement speed runs out, even at a sprint. But as he stops sprinting, he bellows in his loudest, clearest, clarion voice, shouting for everybody to stop. Now, as soon as Malice's voice is heard, the uh the fugue battle state this guy has gone into like basically just drops and he drops to one knee and he starts panting uh he's you can tell you've done some damage especially with that last big attack drusilla and you 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 should feel pretty confident i'm gonna give you that but you can also tell that mostly what's causing him to fall right now is the fact that his he's basically featuring an adrenaline crash. So you can see he's not, like, super wounded. He's maybe bruised up a little bit, and he's winded, but at the same point, he's, you know, ultimately fine, even though you literally just landed the biggest hit of your life. I so, kind of just, like, raised my eyebrow. I'm like, jeez, please, what the fuck was he on? Like um, Before you go too far, at this point, I'm going to end his turn because, like I said, he just kind of lost his battle fugue. It is your turn. You have each are going to get one more turn to make an action. So, Drusilla, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to influence you one way or the other. But you you have one more turn in combat before I will officially end combat and turn this back into a role play. So decide okay. what you want to do. Can I do a perception check before I decide upon an action? Sure. What's the state of this guy who's just been chilling here this whole time? The guy we originally came here for. Oh, he's just been drinking. Uh, the, he's just been sitting there drinking the entire time. Just drink, he's, he's sipping. I'm not going to say he's chugging because obviously the bartender's not serving him right now in the middle of all of this. But he's just sipping on that beer that was sitting in front of the table. I'm going to make a wild assumption and assume uh, Malice came here looking for the perpetrator of the crimes against the uh, orphans, and I'm going to just grab his chair and spin it so it's facing Malice. 
the the drunk. Yeah, that's what you want to do for your turn. Okay. Now I spit at the guy in the armor. Okay. Sarah, you're up. What do you want to do for your last turn? I still want to grab the guy's mace. Yeah, you could do that easily now since he's you know pretty much he's pretty much dropped it like like i said the all the adrenaline's left his body and he's just kind of panting um yeah i'm gonna grab the guy's mace and i i i i just want to say like not loud enough so malice can hear um uh how do I want to say it? I want to say something along the lines like oh so the what matters to your god doesn't matter anymore now that malice shows up but I want to he, say it like just to him knowing that like get... malice is approaching real quick as a lot of spit is dribbling down the side of his cheek, I hope. Either way, he kind of like looks at you out of side eye. He gives you the side eye, Sarah. He can't really say anything because he's still really winded and out of breath. And he uh, he just kind of stares at you as you whisper in his ear and take his mace. If that's what you guys want to do, I'm going to now end combat. That 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 works. I'm whispering in his ear. That, that, yeah. Okay, uh, Malice will walk up. Uh, as he sees what Drusilla spun this guy around, he kind of points at him and goes, sit there and be quiet, we'll get to you. And then he comes up to you three. Yeah, go over there. Just stand there waiting. <laughs> I'm getting there, I was just moving tokens. Hey, he, he puts his hand on the, the guy on the ground shoulder and he goes, um... I'm sorry, brother. I did not know that Sarah and Drusilla were going to step in. And he kind of looks at Sarah, a little accusatory, and he goes, I doubt Sarah did anything to harm you based on the sparks coming off your armor. He glares at Drusilla at this point. I'm guessing Drusilla is the one you were battling. I, I, I want to and chime in and be like, I just wanted them to fight outside. This is a nice establishment, you know, Malice. Really was all us. Me and this guy. He chuckles at Sarah's comment, and he goes, Yes, yes, I, I remember our nights here well. Uh, but, um... He still kind of glares at Drusilla. And he goes, Okay, uh... I didn't really make a name for the night, so he just kind of pats the knight on the shoulder and tells him to to head back to the par parish and that he'll handle everything here. How about uh, Farva? At <laughs> this point, he looks at Good Sarah news. and he goes, Good do news. you mind if I um, take my brother's mace? Um, I wasn't going to ask you to give it back to him, but I would like to return it to him when I return to the parish. Uh, I say to Mass, I respectfully decline. I'm sorry, but the this hit me in a place that was not not acceptable even by someone doing God's work. It hit you in the face. Shh. I'm so confused right now. Shh. Okay. Anyway, uh, I won't get mad. Um, I I follow it up. I'm like, if this is such a, uh, it wouldn't be hard. I could buy him a new mace, but I respectfully, I mean, he. I'm sure he can get his hands on another one, but this one is uh, not not up for offering. Or yeah, he, he, said he sighs heavily and he goes, "I won't argue with you over a simple, heavy piece of metal on a stick. There, there's there's no point to it." Um, he he looks to Sarah, and at this point, he it's not like he's ignoring Drusilla. But he's also only really talking to Sarah because obviously he respects Sarah more than he respects Drusilla with the way she's been acting around him and trying to preach her own 
shit to him while at the same point disregarding his church completely without even having listened to its values. He's he's starting to get this whole cold shoulder towards Drusilla for her. Yeah. For basically the same reason Drusilla is starting to really hate Malice, Malice is starting to really hate Drusilla. They're they're like the same side of the co- different sides of the same coin. Um as soon as I pick up a leg, even like a pause between his dialogue with Sarah, I'd like to interject. Uh, you can interject as much as you want, but let me finish what I was saying. Uh, he looks to Sarah and he's like, uh, again, I won't argue with you over the piece of metal, but um, do you mind me asking what caused the scuffle between my man and Drusilla? He was sent here with an important task, and I told him to let no one get in his way. I... Didn't expect you two to be here, um, and my parish has a distrust of Drusilla and her claim to evil. If I would have known she was here, I would have come personally instead of sending him. Sometimes my men can't control themselves when they're faced with evil. I, um... Sounds like they missed a teaching at that point. But, yeah, so we came to... Alright, I was here to observe. Um, Drusilla wanted to talk to someone about a missing person. And before that actually happened, uh, your... the gentleman that just scurried off... Uh got up and was screaming at the one sitting over there very loudly um and how do I want to say this uh I be- I I forget maybe Drusilla wanted to talk to the guy who was sitting over there well they both wanted to talk to the same guy well Drusilla wanted to talk to him this guy wanted to venge his, or not bring the vengeance of his god upon this guy for partaking in a crispy beverage that's not allowed. Meta question. Meta question. Um, are you purposely saying vengeance instead of wrath, or did oh, you just yeah, that, that said sure, wrath, wrath. Of vengeance? Wrath. Okay, that works. Okay. Um, I just want to. To clarify, because they can be taken two different ways, especially to a church zealot. I'll say wrath. That that's the okay. one that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, mm-hmm. to which kind of like Jusilla uh, chimed in and was like, "Yeah, um, you're not gonna bestow your, the wrath of your God on this person, whether she had her own reasons why." That's a different story but then the guy's like yeah if you're gonna stay in my way i'm gonna fight you and Drusilla's like well yeah i'm not gonna let you do what you want to do here and then he attacked Drusilla and blah 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 and just all about like enacting the wrath of his god which is alarming not gonna lie i did this... stay here for quite a while while he hit me that's just because you missed <laughs> don't even try that I'm uh, not even giving you the ability to say that you missed, you were swinging I, wa- I want to finish with the fact that um I are uh, they uh he was ready to swing I want to I wanna say this like gently but I'm like yeah Drusilla wasn't trying to be start a fight he was ready to start a fight from the get-go, and then once they started fighting, I gave him a couple chances to leave, and he ignored those, and then you showed up. Uh, he kind of, like, does that thing all parents do when their kids are, you know, dickbags for the wrong reasons. He rubs the... What are you doing? Nose, yeah, sighs. He goes... Again... This is partially my fault. I sent him to collect that drunkard at the end of the bar. Um, You see, as I told you when you came to the church, 
that I was investigating, and I found out that this man, he he gives a scathing look at the the guy at the end of the bar, who used to be one of my trusted brothers, was kidnapping people who did not follow our way and trying to forcefully make them follow our church, which is not our way. But wrath and justice are part of our church. As you know, you have fought alongside me. My God punishes evil. This man has committed great evil, and he was to be punished in the church. And I sent my trusted commander to get him and bring him to the church. Now, knowing Drusilla as we do, I'm sure she believes herself righteous and proper and everything else when she got in my brother's way. And I'm sure that my brother, seeing how she walks around claiming to be an evil overlord, let his feelings get the best of him and allowed her to provoke him into a fight. Uh, more than happily, I'm sure. But I still ask of you to keep what you said you would and allow me to handle this from within. The orphans have already been returned to Sybil this night. I was doing that before coming to... Before returning to the parish to exact the wrath of God upon our traitorous brother here. When I heard the fight in the inn... I thought it was just him trying to further hurt our church, and I come in to only see Drusilla and my commander fighting. Yeah, it was us fighting. I'm right here. What's with the cold shoulder? Sarah's a bystander in all this. He, he looks at he looks at you and he goes, "I trust Sarah. You're gonna spout some nonsense about how." My church is judging people, even though you want to control people and have your own evil minion overlord army. So forgive me if I don't trust your words anymore, Drusilla. You I hate don't... me simply because I am a man of God, and I dislike your choice of evil. I said I he says you. with a very heated passion. Never said I hate you. You have been doing nothing but contradicting my work and my teaching since you re-entered this city a month ago, Drusilla. Cling to a god. I just want you to be yourself. I worship somebody who is I greater and who here. punishes evil. Go ahead. I, I, I say to both of them, I'm like, you know, you guys can follow what I was trying to tell your commander. And I say that with like a... um. Like, kind of like a slurish, where, like, fuck, I can't even think. Um, with, like, I, I say that with slander. When I say commander, I'm, like, I, I say, like... You, you're kind of trying to give a little sarcasm to the name. Make yeah. it sound a little... Yeah, I get what you mean. Um, I want to say, I'm, like, I'm going to tell you guys the same thing I told your commander. And if you guys are going to continue this, please take it outside. Malice... I, with all due respect, um, can, wait, before I say what I'm going to say next, do I know of anything of this guy acting out, the drunk guy, in this inn before, like, picked up, I can go um, for it. You've heard, the lady told you he comes here and gets drunk, but he hasn't done anything bad, per se, he just comes in and gets drunk every night, and kind of uses his status as a knight to keep people away from him, but he hasn't actually, like, hurt anybody or anything like that. But Malice did just tell you that he is the one kidnapping people, so there's that. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I, 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 want, I want to say, like, and judging from what I've just witnessed, that guy, and I point to the guy who's drunk or drinking, slammed his drink or whatever maybe bad but the way this one acted is not too much better Got be, be, being blunt with you 
he, he kind of sighs and he goes, I've only been teaching them for three months. I've only been preaching for three months. And yes, some of my teachings may be taking more than others. And some of my nights may take to the wrath more than to the helping of the weak. And some people may be taking the no contamination to super extremes and others, he kind of points at the guy drinking, maybe taking it to the very bare minimum. I am still establishing my parish in this place, and which is why I wish to handle everything on the inside and get things right. I, I know there will be troubles, and I will do my best to curb them. And I know my commander's anger got the better of him tonight. I also have a feeling his anger wasn't helped by Drusilla just from knowing her from the year, from the months we accompanied each other. She has a habit of sticking in one's craw, as you well know yourself. I, I, Pretty sure I've heard stories of you drawing your arrow on your companion here. God forbid. So, so I apologize for the fight that was caused, and I apologize for the anger that my man held, but I do not doubt that... Oh, no, I don't want to say it that way. I, I apologize for the anger, but I still wish to handle this from the inside, and I still wish to grow my parish and grow it better, and I will talk to my commander about controlling his feelings, but I can't be everywhere. I, uh, I, I, I respond to, I'm like, yeah, I, like I said, I am letting you, I am letting you deal with it from the inside. Like, I was witnessing this fight going on, I was witnessing this in altercation. I only ask, and I know that your parish has come a long way in this short time. And is still very new. But I ask that you be more selective of who you have do what. And if it becomes that you have you're biting off too much, like maybe on this at instance, it would have been better for you to come down here and take him personally, because like I'm not trying to like step over boundaries, but it's like you gotta realize like some of these people don't have the teachings as long as you have, and I I get from what you're saying. That you are, but maybe you're trying to just grow too fast. He, he kind of, he nods his head with you as you're saying that, and he agrees, and he goes, you're right, I should have handled this on my own. I I simply wanted to escort the orphans to Sybil and prove to at least one of the three leaders of this town that I have the best interests of the town at heart. Um, I know they all doubt me. I don't know to what extent they doubt me, but I know they all fear my parish as well, and I wanted to show a bit of goodwill, which is why I sent my commander to connect, collect this treasonous fool here while I delivered the kids. Um, again, not knowing that you and Drusilla were going to be here, I did not expect this to happen, but I could see where you were right, and I should have handled this A lot better. Hello? I heard you. I just... He's not responding to you because you're well, still you just being a, an ass. You stopped half midway through the sentence. I said I would have done... I should have done better, didn't I? You say you should have done, and then you paused. Oh. I thought I was finishing it for you. I, I heard handle this, and I was waiting for the next part of the sentence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry. 
It's my fault. No, he said he should have. He should have handled this, and it would have been better. Um, but then at that point, he's also he's kind of done with the night. You can see he's exhausted, and he goes now. There, I if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take this man. And as my commander said, he will feel the wrath of our church. Um, and then he looks to Drusilla, and then he eyes her up and down, and he goes, unless you want to get in my way like you did the commander's way. How about you let the, um, the people running this town know what's actually going on with this guy? A little bit of transparency goes a long way. He looks at you, and he goes, I just took the orphans to Sybil and informed her of everything that happened. I also informed her of what I'm going to be doing to this man and what will be happening. How about you not stick your nose in everybody's business while you claim to be an evil overlord? You know what? If you want to be a hero of justice and equality, Drusilla, which I would support 100% of the way, then do that. But as long as you claim to be an evil overlord, you will never have the moral high ground on me. Fuck you. Get this guy out of here. I walk away. And he kind of like nods his head towards you, Sarah. And he uh, her, goes and grabs give him the a guy. Slight nod. Then he goes and grabs the guy and like just walks out of the walks out of the bar with him. And that is the end of the first night. Oh. Damn it, Sarah. I worked really hard to track that guy down. We worked really hard. I didn't really do shit. What are you guy. talking to me about? I mean, you showed me the way to the parish. Yeah? I was just Took all the fucking steam out of my sails. That was on my mind for a long time. It's not fair. I was really hoping to rub his nose into the mud. It was perfect. Everything lined up, and he wound up making me feel like shit instead. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I was not expecting that altercation between you and the other guy. Um. I, I, I don't know what to say, Drusilla. Like, you could have fought up and just like, hey, yeah, you can have him in 10 minutes. Let me talk to him first. But the orphans got back to where they're supposed to, so I'm happy. The important part, but... Fuck. Everyone what? here knows that the person responsible was a member of the parish. So you get your, you get your, uh, result too. Yeah, that guy doesn't you, need. You're not publicly frauding him. I mean, the word is going to spread in this town. Everyone's going to know in two days. That god of his doesn't need to get any more popular than it already is. Any anything that calls itself a god is just not to my liking. Uh, just so at these times you pain me to talk to you because don't you have like three people on you in vessels that call themselves gods? No. They're wizards. They're evil overlords. Overlord? What's the difference between an overlord and a god? They don't make any false proclamations be above man. They just choose to rule man. It's about ambition. Not about <laughs> I'm sorry. They don't make false proclamations to be above man. They just rule man. You do know that people who rule people are above people, right? But they're also people. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, Chisil, you you still got what you wanted because Malice flat out said, everyone, I'm assuming the, the inn is like just now returning to like the little murmur that it normally is. Yeah, I mean, I guess I got yeah. what I want in the end. 
I got some of what I want. Yeah, you're just not, like, publicly hanging the guy. Oh, I wasn't going to hang anybody. I definitely wanted, you know, him to be publicly shamed and maybe killed later afterwards. But he, not hanged on the spot. He's going to be publicly shamed. Trust me, like, how many people are in here? Like, eight, ten people? This is a small town. Word's going to get out real quick. Everyone's going to know he's the one doing it. He's part of the parish. It's going to raise questions. If not, then this town is super biased. Yeah, as long as those parish folks stop acting like they're better than everyone else. That also rubs me really wrong. Drusil, you act just the same way the parish does. It's just you're on tails and they're on heads. I suppose. Either way, the quarter is still feeling that is still levitating above everyone else in their own eyes. He he's got a pact of minions. If I get a pact of minions, I'm not gonna make them feel like they're better than everyone else. I'm better than them. But I'm not gonna tell them to go around strutting around acting like they're better than everyone else. Who's not one of my minions. I don't know what to tell you, Drusilla. I just didn't want this. I want this end to stay standing like it was when we walked in here. That's all I wanted. Yeah, I guess I guess we got what we wanted. What you should have done was, uh, when the altercation happened, was drag the other guy out of the inn. And then yeah, it would have been just mano y mano. Uh, Actually, no, that's what I should have done. Whole meta, I'm pretty sure you did try to do that three times in a row. No, I was trying to drag the knight out. I should have dragged the drunkard out. Oh. Would have been an interesting take on it. Yeah, I don't think that would have worked out. No, it, I'm not. The guy was drunk. Honestly, uh, I think that would have been. I don't know how I would have played that as a DM, but that would have been interesting. I would have given been you been an attack of opportunity, probably, but then the person yeah, that they the, both. But then it, it brings in the question. The person that they both were fighting over is no longer here. Mm -hmm. So, like, how does that work? Yeah, that, that would have <laughs> been interesting. It would have been yeah. an interesting one to DM. That would have been some wonky stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyways. Well, that all I'm took glad, a really long time. <laughs> I'm glad the orphans are safe, more than anything. They didn't ask to be kidnapped. You know, when a proper Dark Lord rolls through, then they can be a dog man. That guy with all of his righteousness and everything. I just, just shake my head and I'm like, hey, barkeep, can I have some food and a stiff drink? I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, she kind of nods her head and she goes, yeah, now that all that rubber roll is done, of course. She brings you out a plate of food and a drink. Um. For the next day, I, I'm planning on just training. For your second day of the weekend? I don't think I have any other obligations that I'm focused on. Not that I know of, no. Uh, I know, like, like meta-wise, like, probably just put all this behind us, but, like, I want to roleplay and actually visit the orphanage tomorrow. You want to do what? I want to go to the orphanage and just see, like, that. How would you know orphanage? Um, Sybil's place. What would you call it? The Thieves' Den? Thieves' Den. Okay. So, well, here's my plan. Okay, so next week we'll, we'll do the training, the week, and then the week after we'll do the raid so you have two more sessions until the raid and next week we'll get the rest of the busy work done so that the week after we can focus on the raid and get that done all right okay i want the raid now well you can't have it now get off i'm fine with putting it off honestly <laughs> Okay, so for my cat for tonight, um, 
an interesting turn of events. I really was, I was expecting Donnie to be a dick about it, but I was not expecting him to push hard enough to get in an actual fight. So they both they were just there. There. literally uh, just told, required me to stand still for a turn. No, it didn't. <laughs> how do you, how do you not see your own involvement in starting that fight? They, 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 they both, they both instigated the fight. Yes, it was a double instigation. It's not like the guy walked up and said, and move. Fucking and tell him like, it's a double instigation in the recap. Don't just say Donnie started the fight. For fuck's sake. I didn't. Do it. I didn't. You said but Donnie still, started the fight. I, well, I wasn't expecting him to push that hard to get into the fight. He I wasn't gave, pushing to get into the fight. I gave three chances for Drusilla to move aside. Three warnings for Drusilla to move aside. That is more than enough for a player who doesn't actually want to fight a guy to move aside. Cream on this. Donnie case. Danger obviously wanted the fight. After the fight started, after he <laughs> made his decision, he started it with an attack. Then we rolled initiative. He won initiative. Attacked me again. I spent my turn just activating buffs. He hit me again before I touched him. Just cream on the cake there. My fault. You misused your turn. I didn't misuse my turn. It worked out perfectly. I'm just saying I was unaggressive for like a full roleplay wise 20 seconds. Oh I'm just God. saying the DM wanted to start the fight because I didn't want the fight to happen. Because, because... he could have went around Danny and grabbed the guy and left, but he's like, no, I'm going to fight you instead. Just that that's my point of view on this, you know. I have been role playing them with an extreme hatred for Drusilla the entire time. Drusilla knows her reputation with these men. She knows her reputation with all of Malice's men. She you also can, knows you can explain as much as you want. What happened? You guys happened. Are fucking big bags. What happened you guys are big is bags. The, 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 the knight started the fight with Drusilla because Drusilla <laughs> wanted to start a fight with the knight. Yes. Then that say it happened. that way. Don't say Donnie just decided to stand in the guy's but way. But the way you guys are saying it is like Donnie was just standing there and the no, knight no. swung at him. That's, that's the what way the, you guys are that's saying That's what Donnie's saying. I'm saying give equal footing. You're saying Drusilla started the fight. Donnie's saying the other guy started the fight. I'm like, no, you both fucking was, started the fight. Now say it I that was, way. I wasn't expecting Donnie to push that hard. With Drusilla as a character, after three <laughs> very clear warnings that if he did not move, the knight was going to strike him. Yeah, I know. Actually, I've been pretty mellow the past like four sessions, so I still didn't expect it to happen. Either way, <laughs> the fight happened, which caused talk a while, Quite and difficult. I still hate both of you for this argument because even though Bork is being very magnanimous and trying to be equal about it. You're still trying to make it sound like Donnie didn't do shit except for stand there, but Donnie I'm is full on saying taking that, Donnie that because, knew what he was doing. because you're saying it that way. Donnie is now taking it to the extreme of how I didn't do anything. I just stood there for two turns and got hit twice. Yeah, you're taking one extreme. He's taking the other one. I'm telling you how it is and right down the middle. You're taking an extreme, Kenny. It's not just me taking it. Shut up, Donnie. Though. You're taking the other extreme. <laughs> We're both taking extremes here. Don't act either like way, either way, the fight happened and settled. And now we all know that um, the orphans are back. Uh, and uh, I'm questioning who scared. actually had the orphans. Uh, the guy. Yeah, I'm questioning that. Why? I mean. Yeah. I mean, I'm visiting the orphanage just to be sure. Whatever. Do you? Either way, um, all that happened. And I am now going to go to bed because you guys are dickheads and I have a headache. And I love both of you. Love you too. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Stan, for backing me up. I really need I'm that. Sometimes I'm crazy. Oh, I'm okay. Not <laughs> I'm not backing either of you up. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I am still crazy then. <laughs> okay. We both are crazy. We're all crazy, okay? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and uh, keep tuning in to our podcast and our YouTube and everything. And I'll see you all next week. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you guys.